Okay, in the last video we exported these lines from Google SketchUp using Google Earth and now we're going to take these AutoCAD lines and bring them into Revit and create a topography on them. Um, this is the actual file that I, that I exported initially, but I wanted to show you how to readjust your file if your project north and your true north, which would be vertical here, are different. Okay, so I just made a little rotated file. We're going to use this one. Um, in future um, installments, I may be using this file. So just wanted to let you know that before we got started. All right, so minimizing that, I'm going to go into Revit and use my custom template to start a project. You can always go to New, make sure this says Project, and Browse for your template if it's not in your startup menu. So I'm going to go to my custom Let's go up to custom templates and I have a custom template right there and click open and click OK. It's going to open up my custom template. I'm just going to double click on my site view because that allows me to see the survey point and the project base point which is basically your zero zero. Um, we're going to talk more extensively about this. Um, I wanted you to get your feet wet a little bit before I talk about some technical shared coordinate issues that come up. The process that I'm going to use to, right now is a very simple process. Um, so we'll do some more complex and technical um, usage of, of the survey point and project base point in the future. All right, so I'm just going to, go to insert link CAD and I'm going to go to the file. And I want this lines copy drawing. I'm going to leave it center to center. That's fine. We're going to reorient it once we get it in there. So I'm going to click open. It's going to bring that file in. And the first thing I want to do is move it in the XY to get it close to this project base point. So I'm going to select it, left click, go to move, pick this corner point right there, and just move it to that base point right there. Next thing I want to do is orient it in the Z. So I'm going to go to my east elevation. And I'm kind of lucky right now in that this is that outline I drew of the building that I want to be at 0, 0 in Revit. So it's kind of close to 0, 0 already. Sometimes your file may be way out in the hinterlands and I might do a little um, example of that later. But this one is pretty close. So what I want to do is I want to make that outline correspond with this level 1 which is set to 0. So first thing I'm going to do is, and you may need to do this, is I'm going to go ahead and turn off my other, my topo layer. So I'm going to go to the visibility graphics dialog. So I'm going to type VV, V twice. Go to the imported categories and turn off the topo lines and click OK. And you'll see that all I have left is that outline of the building. So I'm just going to left click, go to move, take that and move it straight down. So now my topography is in the correct Z as well as XY. Go back to VB and I can turn on my topo lines again. Click OK. Alright, now the next thing we want to do is orient it so we have a good project north and we also still know where our true north is. So I'm going to go back to site plan. And what I'm going to do, there's two ways we can actually orient this um, drawing and I'm going to show you both of those ways. So I'm going to go to architecture, model line, and I'm going to draw a line that represents true north. So that is true north is, is exactly vertical right now. Okay, and so one way um, that you can orient this correctly is to select the link drawing and your true north and go to rotate. Okay, and it's going to rotate around the middle of this, but we want to take the center of rotation and move it up to the project base point. All right, and now we want to take a line that is parallel um, to or perpendicular to our north, left click on it and move that so it's due east-west, right? So and left click and now it reorients. 
Okay, so now Project North, right, which you can see Project North over here is oriented correctly. Now what we want to do now is we want to reorient True North because if you go over here to Orientation in your Properties dialog box and you go to True North, now it thinks True North is still straight up. We haven't told it that True North is actually now off to the right. So in order to orient True North, you can go to your Manage tab, come down to right here is Position, and you can rotate true north. So if you left click on rotate true north, this is where north is. So you left click on your line and this is where I want north to be. And now true north is set correctly. So now if I go to the pull down and go back to project north, you've got project north. And for each view that's set to project north, it should be oriented correctly. In each view you can you can sort of check that. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my site and I'm going to control Z sort of back to where we were before we changed True North. So you can see True North is now, let's get back all the way. Okay. So we've got Project North and True North. Now what I want to do is I want to pick this. This is the second way of doing it. Um, rotate it again. So make sure that True North is correct. So now True North and Project North are exactly the same, right? Now, now what I can do is I can actually come in and select this project base point and unclip it. And then I'm going to window around both of them, filter out the project base point, and unclip the topography survey point. And now I can do what's called acquiring coordinates. Revit is smart enough to know which way the AutoCAD World UCS is oriented and it's going to assume that True North is straight up Y. So if I go to my Manage tab and there's a positioning or a coordinates, if you go down to coordinates, you can acquire coordinates. And if I left click on that file and then I come back and clip those points, you'll see that the survey point is actually pointing towards True North. So let's go check it out. So if we go to True North, it orients back to True North. So basically it went into the AutoCAD coordinates and acquired and used its coordinates to, to develop True North. So those are two basic ways um, that we can do that. Now the second way actually creates a shared coordinate system, which is also very helpful. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about that later.